Hey everybody, Anna Kruger here, Gallup Certified Strengths Coach, as well as a MAPS Coach for Keller Williams. And I'm sitting here in my comfy chair in my living room, reflecting on the week and looking towards next week. And I realized my favorite fall activity is happening on Wednesday of next week, and I want to tell you about it. First, let me tell you a story. So in 2017, I was really busy doing a lot of things. And I realized that I had this checklist of accomplishments to work on. And I was knocking them down like nobody's business, getting things done. However, what I realized in the process of all of this doing, I was no longer somebody that I liked. I always said that I wanna be available to my friends. And what I realized is I was so busy traveling and teaching that I was never home to say yes to get together with my friends and they quit asking. I also said I wanna be someone who invests time with my family. And you know what? I was never home or I was always busy doing the next thing. And that meant that I wasn't able to see my family the way that I really wanted to. So I kind of had this aha moment of realizing I'm so busy accomplishing and doing that I'm no longer being the type of person I want to be. So enter this book, Living Forward. I recommend that you get this book. It is a game changer. It has changed my life in a very, very positive way. I read it at least once a year, usually in the fall. And that book challenges you to think through at the end of your life, what categories are important to you. So meaning, you know, I, I don't want my community to remember me the same way that my friends remember me. There should be a difference, right? If you're married, your spouse should remember you differently than your children remember you, right? At least I hope so. So this book encourage us, encourages us to think through what are all the main categories in your life that are important to you? And we all may have different variations of that. And then you think through, okay, if I say my community is important to me, how do I want my community to remember me when I'm no longer on this earth? How do I want my children to remember me? How do I want my family to remember me? And basically you create a statement that you, you want people to say about you when you are no longer here. Then you kinda gotta sit back and say, okay, if that's how I want to be remembered, what's the gap? Is that what they would say about me today? And if not, what can I do to make that happen? How can I get towards that goal? And that really starts to inform what you should do. So let me give you an example. In 2017, I realized, you know, I say that my spiritual life is important to me, but I'm never investing any time and I'm hardly ever around to go to church or anything because I'm always traveling. So the being was I wanted to be more tapped into my spiritual life. The doing that came out of that was I'm gonna to commit to listen to four podcasts a week centered around my spiritual growth. That became a commitment out of who I wanted to be. So what I wanna encourage you guys, it's a great activity to do this time of year as we prep for 2021. I want you to read this book, Living Forward, and then ask yourself after you read the book, who do I want to be in 2021 and start creating a human being list, not just a human doing list, right? We're human beings, we're not human doings. And what I have found amazingly, as I have focused on who I'm being and the type of character that I wanna have, the way I wanna show up in this world, the doing has just gotten even better. So focus on who you wanna be and what are those characteristics. Again, check out the book, Living Forward. So I would love for you to reply. Let me know your thoughts. Are you going to do it? Are you going to buy the book? Are you going to set aside some time? Wednesday of this upcoming week is my day. I'm going to go off to a coffee shop in the mountains, turning off the phone, turning off the computer, I'm going to work on the human being list of who do I want to be in 2021. Can't wait. I'll probably tell you about it in the next video. All right, guys, have a great rest of your day. Thanks for hanging out with me.